sure. All right, I think it's recording. All right, mute everyone. Unless I already did that, mute. All right, well, first of all, I get that it says Chad Deary. I'm not Chad Deary, but they are letting me use their Zoom um, graciously. Thanks for hopping on tonight. Um, I know that it's Saturday night. It was super late notice, but um, I just felt like we needed to gather up and I could kind of share my heart after talking to my business coach this week. I felt like it was essential and maybe we can do these more often. I think that they'll be really beneficial for our team as a whole, but I'm super fired up about our team. I'm super proud of you guys. We have added over 60 people just this month. I still believe that we can get to 100 this month with all of you guys going for goals. Of course, if you add three people, you get that Bluetooth water bottle. Six people is the Lululemon. I don't even know if that's how you say it, the gift card, $200 to that um, fitness store, and um, six people is an Apple Watch, or nine people, I'm sorry, nine people is the Apple Watch. So that's really exciting. It's a great incentive this month, and you guys are crushing it. I know that Desiree's already earned hers, Shannon has already earned hers, all the prizes, and some of you guys have earned the water bottle. So cool. Um, and just a little exciting tidbit. My coach, I, he asked what my goals were. He asked a lot about myself and our team and what you guys were doing and what your guys' goals were. And he just, I said, I might sound crazy, but I kind of want to go Emerald like next month or by July. And he was like, no, that's exactly what I, what I wanted to hear. He says that our team is in a great setup for that goal. And he said, we have a 95% chance of going Emerald after we hear what comes out at convention like so that should make you really excited because the potential for all of our businesses after convention is huge I keep hearing excitement about convention for those of you that are going you're gonna to get to experience it there but something is coming out at convention and we are going to be very excited about it and it's going to help all of us reach our goals um, so he's going to help me reach my goal of going Emerald and this team going Emerald. But Emerald is simply a combination of all of us hitting goals. And it's so exciting. Last month I went Senior Ruby, but it was just as exciting to me to see so many of you guys hit your goals. And Sam goes Senior Gold and Desiree go Gold and um, Sarah. And on the list goes, and some of you hit Super Silver. So... Um, my husband is calling me. I told him I was on a Zoom. But I'm really, really pumped up um, for this month. I think that we still have a couple that will hit ranks this week. I'm very, very, very excited to see some of you guys hit your goals. I want to help you do that. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me if you need help drawing your team or figuring out how to reach your goals. That's what I'm here for. If I don't know what I'm doing, I'm going to reach out to Krista and she's going to help us as well. Um, she has made herself available and wants to help the team get to where they want to be. Um, so some of you guys might be brand new that watches this. This is specifically for our team. So I just want to walk through my heart for our team. I feel like our Achilles heel for a while had been, I wasn't all in in the business. And I felt very strongly at the beginning of the year that I needed to start running with the business. And so I did so. I didn't feel like I was stewarding the business well or helping you guys well. What I did have in the beginning was belief in the products, belief in the company, and I shared that with my friends. And honestly, you guys are part of the reason that I even continued on in the business. Um, it was a huge motivation. Now I had friends who wanted and needed the business, and so I needed to get my little booty in gear and start moving. So um, what I'm going to encourage each of you guys to do daily is IPA. If you're brand new, you have no idea what IPA looks like. What does IPA even stand for? They used to post that in the team page. And I'm like, IPA, sure. I don't know if I do that daily or not. What does that mean? All IPA means is income producing activity. What are you doing daily to bring in income for your business? This can look like a lot of different things. It can look like building a relationship. It can look like um, helping personal growth. 
posting on Facebook, wishing people happy birthday, adding friends to your network because we're in network marketing, and then following up with potentials and checking on customers that you already have. So I'm going to seem a little bit all over the place, but I really feel strongly at the end of the month that I want to hit kind of all over the place and help field your guys' questions. I want to make tonight as jam-packed in as little time as I can to help you guys as best as I can. Hey, Sonia. Um, so income producing activity, you should be doing it daily. I'm totally okay with you taking a Sabbath. I, if you have a day or two that you're like, eh, I'm not working, but five days a week, let's put the pedal to the metal, whether it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, five minutes here, 10 minutes later, five minutes later, get yourself time where you can sit down and you can say, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add three friends to Facebook. I'm going to wish everyone happy birthday. I'm going to make a post and I'm going to check on people who have already ordered. Um, and always every day you need to be pouring into yourself. We cannot, we are in health and wellness company. We cannot pour out to other people unless we ourselves are full and filled up and have something to give, right? Um, so make sure you're doing self-development. What are you doing daily? Are you getting your time with the Lord daily? Super important. That's something I try to do first thing in the morning. And then I continue on and keep doing that. Um, throughout the day, making sure mom is full so I can pour out, pour back to my team, to my kids, to my husband, to my ministry, everything that I can do. But I have to take care of myself first. That's one of the best things that I like about Plexus is a lot of people don't take care of themselves before they take care of other people. So down the road, they're realizing they're struggling from adrenal fatigue and huge gut health issues and all of this stuff. And finally, they find Plexus and are able to give back to themselves and repair their gut and get themselves healthy and balanced out. Um, one of the huge stigmas in Plexus, or honestly, a speed bump that I had to personally get over was building my network. We are in um, network marketing, relationship marketing. We have to have a network and able um, to be able to give these products to, or to be able to give this business opportunity to. What does that mean? How do I build my network? You might think, oh, this is easy for Morgan because she already has a big network. She's a pastor's wife, her husband travels and, um, ministers all over the country but honestly that is true but for a long time what i've been doing is building my network without something to sell okay so we're looking if you are looking at plexus as a platform and i need to build my network to get all the sales i can you're already you already have the wrong mindset. We need to change your mindset. We have to build our network for multiple reasons. And um, some people might think that you're building your network for only Plexus purpose. That's okay. We're going to throw that out because scripture tells us that man's going to look on our outward appearance, but only he looks at our heart and he knows what's in our heart. So long ago, I got myself right with the Lord, and I started to build my network for the purpose of the Lord. And I had my vision set on something greater, something bigger than a small, Plexus is just a little bit of what we get to do. And so many times, I'm just a testament to what this can do. So many times, I go to message someone and the, because the Lord puts them on my heart, and the end result is not a sale. The end result might be praying for them. The end result might be, um, I know last year, or it might've been two years ago because I was pregnant last year, two years ago, I would reach out to all of these people that I really had on my heart and they just started pouring their hearts out about having miscarriages. And at that time I was pregnant with my fourth and I didn't understand. I'm like, oh, well, this is my fourth baby. I've had fourth healthy pregnancies at that point. And I thought, why would, you know, why would they reach out to me? I'm not going to be much of an encouragement. And they probably kind of resent me for having four healthy pregnancies. Little did I know that I was about to walk through a miscarriage journey. And I was able to um, connect with these people and then walk through it with them. The Lord was able to allow me to help strengthen them in the Lord. And we were in very similar journeys. So 
we must build our network, but you have to check your heart and say, Lord, why am I building my network? It is always good to build your network. We're not, we're supposed to be the salt and light of the earth. We cannot stay in our little houses and stay to ourselves. The great commission is to go. Okay. So get a hold of that and say, I want to spread the gospel. I want to make people feel better. I want people to get healthy and um, better themselves in whatever capacity that looks like. So it's people over points. If you're on Team Revive page, you're going to see that over and over and over again. We are not just about the sale. We are about what that person needs. So whatever that looks like, regardless, commit to pray for them. Pray for them and continue running the race that the Lord has set out for you. Promise you that it's worth it. I promise you that it's worth it. You, If your heart is right, continue on running. So how do you build your network? If you are in, okay, she's just going to join us for a minute. If you are a, um, say hello. If you love photography, okay, we're just going to go down Teresa's lane here. Then join some photography groups on Facebook. Join um, some groups maybe in your community. Do you live in a neighborhood? Um, somebody recently is training um, that I watched. I believe it was the girl who won all the prizes in nine days or something. She started a mom's group for her neighborhood. There was no mom's group for her neighborhood. She put a group on Facebook and she just started a group. There are so many things. Like for me personally, I feel like my passion is parenting. My passion is for moms. My passion is for pastor's wives. So that's the lane that I'm going to stay in. That's the lane that my social media is going to reach out to because that's what I feel passionate about. But you guys don't have to look like that. Plexus isn't just for pastors, wives, or moms. Plexus is for anyone who has a gut, anyone who wants to get healthy, anyone suffering, and anyone who needs a business. We have the best comp plan around. We have the best natural supplements with natural ingredients. So we have to build our belief and run from there. Maybe you guys don't have belief yet. That's okay. Borrow belief. Did you join this company with a trusted friend? Do you believe them that these products worked for them the way they said they did? And do you think that they can help change the lives of other people around you? Hopefully your answer is yes. I know that if you're watching this that you feel there's something in Plexus that can help you or someone around you. So grab a hold of that. I personally had tons of belief because I originally looked into Plexus for other people. I was looking into Plexus for infertility. I wasn't struggling with infertility. I looked into Plexus for anxiety. I was not struggling with anxiety, but there were people around me struggling. And so I knew that there were people in my circle that I trusted that backed these products that knew what they were talking about. So borrow belief and build your own belief. Get around people that will help build your belief. Don't go to Google and Google everything that can go wrong. If you are a mom, I'm sure that when your kid has had a fever, a cough, something wrong with them, you went to Google, right? Did Google steer you wrong? All the time. I always tell Krista she's my safe Google <laughs> because I was guilty. Midnight Googler. My kid has 104 fever and this cough kind of sound like sounds like a whistle or something, you know. I mean, whatever the thing might be. And it was like she might have the common cold or she might be dying. Google will instill fear and it might give you false information. But absolutely research for yourself. The more that you research, why would so many medical professionals, we had an amazing YouTube the other night that if you didn't get a chance to watch, I'll get you that link, but it was amazing. Why would four very different medical professionals, I think we had a nurse practitioner, we had a nurse, a holistic nutritionist, and I forget what the fourth was, but um, we have chiropractors who fully back this. Um, Tons of medical professions yeah. that back these products and they know what the ingredients are. They've seen change in their clients and in themselves, and they are so excited to have a natural route to run with. So I promise you there are tons of sources to build your belief. Do so, and don't just turn to Google. But we do tell people, Google gut health, anxiety, gut health, and you can see so many links between what you're suffering with and 
the three main things that Plexus targets, blood sugar, inflammation, and gut health. So we have the tools to help people change their health around. So absolutely build your belief and borrow the belief until you have the belief there. We also have to build our character. So many people are going to join this journey with someone they trust. Do people trust you? I'm going to go there tonight, y'all. You have to examine yourself. Do people trust you? Are you speaking positively or are you speaking negatively? Do you think these products cost too much? That probably comes out when you speak to other people. What you believe about these products, they hear in your tone. So we have to make sure that we're positive. And I'm not saying fake it till you're Till you make it I'm saying let's change our mindset let's have a positive attitude let's fill our cups with positive things get yourself some podcasts Bob Heilig has a great one Abby Kappa has a great one my church has a great one um fill yourself with things that are going to build your belief and um in yourself, in the Lord, because you guys were created fearfully and wonderfully. The Lord made you here, um, brought you here for a purpose. Do you feel like your purpose is to help people? This is a great business to help people get happy, get healthy. Um, and also it can change radically their income. Like I'm just been rocked with that. Actually, I'm getting peeved every time somebody tells me that they don't have enough money to buy products. I'm like, well, then you need the business. You don't need the products. You need the business because you should have a hundred extra dollars. Like, does anybody else just get totally riled up when somebody says something like that? <sighs> Goodness, I need to settle down a little bit. But I like get frustrated when people are like, I don't have money. Um, you know, for whatever. I don't have money for Disney passes. I don't have money to go to Chick-fil-A. And I'm like, I feel bad for you. Let's start you a business. <laughs> um, we have the best comp plan around. Do you believe that? Somebody could join today. If you joined recently, if you joined yesterday, okay, you can add three people with 199 welcome packs and make $425. So you spent $199 or you spent $99, shoot, and you get 425, like it's a no brainer to me. You can make back more than you spent, okay? So if you take that mindset and then you share that with other people, it is going to spread like wildfire, okay? Some of you guys are sitting on this call super discouraged. I try to get people to buy all these products. And I try to get people to go silver, but no one wants to. I'm just going to call you out and say that is the wrong mindset. You cannot have that mindset. And I'm just going to say, I kind of get why no one will buy the products and why no one wants to go silver. Are you making it sound really exciting? Do people want to join your team? I wouldn't want to join somebody's team who thinks these products are expensive, who thinks that they can't do what you're asking them to do. I want somebody to come in here and say, this is the coolest thing I've ever been a part of. These products can absolutely change your life. Do you want to do this with me? And you know what? You might think that $100 is steep now, but when you're your um, cravings start to change and you don't need all that extra stuff, you're really gonna save money. Oh, and do you spend a $40 copay every time you're sick? Well, you're not gonna need to go to the doctor anymore because now you have tools to heal your gut naturally. And I have not been sick in three years. I've had school-aged kids who have come home with the flu bug, mama didn't get it. I've had kids who've had strep throat, mama didn't get it. Because my gut is healthy, I fully believe my gut is amazing and it's only gonna improve. My immunity is like through the roof. I drank from the same water bottle my son did the night he threw up. Did not get the flu. Like, praise God, do not take credit away from the Lord, but I also think there is such wisdom and also handling what you need to with your body. And um, <laughs> Patty's clapping and she totally agrees. She's like bopping and clapping down here. <laughs> so I'm gonna go there, self-development. Some of you guys might have to reach down inside and say, I need to change my mindset. I need to build my belief. I want people to want to join me. This isn't about saying like, you have to be a perfect person. No, 
you don't have to be a perfect person, but you absolutely have to love well. Like I love that we get paid to love people well. I love that this is relationship marketing because that's what I feel really good at. I want my friends to thrive in whatever they're doing and you should want your friends to do that too. So find yourself a good book, whatever that might be. Perfect Over Present is a really good book. Um, as far as business building books, I loved the book, um, Go For No. It was short, it was an easy read. Mama doesn't read a whole lot and I'm trying to read a whole lot more because oh. leaders oh. are readers. Leaders are absolutely readers. So my husband has ingrained that in me and I need to read more, so I'm doing my best. But praise God for podcasts. I can turn on a podcast and multitask, do my laundry and my dishes and drive in the car and listen to something praise god for those kind of things but find yourself and read a little bit listen to something every day all right silver some of you guys might not know what silver is some of you guys might be going for silver simply if you don't want to do the business which you're probably not watching this if you don't want to do the business but if you want to go silver it's three people it also can help your people pay for their products. So maybe if you're wanting to do the business, silver is the key to your business, but you might have somebody join your team that just wants to be a wholesaler, right? We call them happy wholesalers. I have a whole lot of those. I went to Senior Ruby last month and a lot of those points came from happy wholesalers, people who were just buying the products um, for themselves, right? Okay, the problem with a happy wholesaler is that if they're spending over $100 every month, unless they have an extra $100 every month, they might fall off the ship if they don't have like some help with those products. So a lot of people, I just present it like, hey, you've been on these products for a month or two and you're loving them, these are your results. You could get three people to join you or just a friend or two to join you, try out the products too, and then it would help you offset the cost that you're spending every month. Would you like to try that? A lot of people want to try that because who wants to spend a hundred extra dollars every month if you don't have to and you can get money back? I would say, hey, sign me up, I want money back. Everybody wants the best bang for their buck. So when they sign up wholesale, they have a website, they don't have to make crazy money or anything like that, but they can just they can just ask their mom, sister, mailman, nail tech. They don't even have to make a post. So you, as their friend, their upline, need to um, help them navigate the best way they want to go silver. Silver is adding three people underneath you in one calendar month. If um, you add somebody last month, and they will count towards the next month as long as they have 100 PV. So they either have to have a welcome pack or 100 PV, and it's in one calendar month. Three people, okay? So do you guys know three people in your circle that you can get to join you? I'm sure that you do. You just have to get more bold about the products. Do you believe in the products that you have in your hand? Have you seen change? Share that with your friends. Or get on the info page and read all the testimonies and how many people come to your mind. Think about those people and reach out to those people. Hey, I just read this testimony of someone having migraines and they don't have them anymore. I know how bad your migraines are. Do you wanna hear about these products that I'm taking? somebody who lost weight, somebody who had an autoimmune disorder. If people are coming to your mind, there might be a reason for that. That's how my business began. Something came to my, or somebody came to my mind and I reached out to them. Hey, I don't know what you think about this. These are natural, it's an amazing company. I fully back it. Do you wanna hear more? And then go from there. Going silver for me was super simple. It was like, I grabbed two of my friends, I already had another friend ordering from me and I said, let's do this together. And they're like, okay. And they signed up. I gave them my website. So I don't think that anyone on this call doesn't have three people that they can reach out to. I think the problem <laughs> is the belief behind it. Do you feel confident enough to say, I fully believe in these products and I know that you will too. Do you want to do this with me? So I, that's why I'm really going to hone in on building your belief and borrowing it until you have it. 
going silver. So one thing my business coach told me is that we are really good at adding people. We're amazing at adding people. We added 224 people to our team since January. That is awesome. I think that that is incredible. I think you guys obviously are influencers. You have people in your circle and you are adding people. The problem is only four of those people went silver. And that doesn't even mean out of those 224. Four people on our whole team all year, January till now, went silver. So you are going to see me and our team talk about going silver so much because there's so much power in going silver. If the secret to the business is going silver and only our four of our people went silver, something's off. The key to momentum is, <laughs> are you saying yes? Yes. The key to momentum is silver, but we're not adding silvers or creating silvers. So we're going to focus on this. I'm going to, um, we're even talking about doing, Teresa and I are talking about creating a page and moving forward and helping people go silver because maybe you guys are like, what is silver? How do I do it? Show me tactics. We're going to do just that. Um, Hey Megan. So the business coach says within 90 days, we want people to hit silver. So already, if you're going to join somebody wholesale, it's like, hey, try the triplex. Well, the best results come from the triplex if they do it long term. You want them to commit 30, 60 days. We have a 60-day money-back guarantee. So when people sign up and they get a welcome pack, I say to them, I want you to see change. I don't want you to make, waste your money. And I want you to commit to me that you are going to take these products consistently and work with me <clears throat> for 60 days. Because why not? You can get your money, full money back after 60 days. So once they've committed to that, then we sign them up wholesale, we get them a welcome pack, and we do the best customer care we can. And... Um, check in on them and all that good stuff. So after they're starting to see change, okay, if I have somebody who says, I'm feeling really good, like I'm sleeping all night, I have energy, you know, they might see those initial couple of things. I'm like, you're feeling pretty good, right? Do you think you have any friends that would wanna feel as good as you feel right now? And right there, oh, you can just put a bug in their ear. It might not be the day they're like, oh, they might say like, no, I don't want to do the business. That's okay. It doesn't have to be a business. You can just share with a couple of your friends. I don't push the business, but I'm starting to put the bug in their ear as soon as they're starting to see changes. I Hopefully, I already put the bug in their ear when they signed up. P.S. By the way, you're going to have a website and you can sell or share with anybody. Ah, oh, daddy's home. You can share. Um, say hi. There's Jeremiah. <laughs> Daddy's oh, home. Black sis. Yay. <laughs> um, so anyways, what was I saying? I just totally lost my train of thought. Um, at the beginning, before I even sign somebody up, when they go wholesale, I'm like, you'll have a website. You don't have to sell, but you can. And I personally love the business and the comp plan is amazing. If you want me to share something more with that, whatever. But I do kind of intro the business, even if they don't want to, before they sign up. So when they start to take their products and they feel awesome, I fall back on that and say like, remember you have a website, you're feeling great. Who else in your um, sphere of influence wants to feel great too? Another big thing that I am just gonna throw out there after doing this for over two years, do not pre-qualify anyone. Like for a long time, I was like, oh, they, they, well, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed to even ask them or tell them about the business side. They would never want a business. And then those are the very people who have stopped ordering and they go join Lip Sense or Beachbody or they join another company and they start sharing about it. And I was like, I didn't know you went into business because like Plexus is the best comp plan around and I'm kicking myself. And so that happened way too many times that I'm saying right off the bat, when I start someone off on the products, you join wholesale, you can absolutely sell this if you want to. <laughs> um, and then once they start feeling good, bringing it back around, do not pre-qualify anyone. Everyone has a right to know that they can sell this if they want to, and they can just get a little bit of money back on their own products 
or helping people do it with them. Everything is more fun with friends. When we have accountability and you start something with someone else, it's more fun. Aren't you more likely to continue on um, doing something if somebody else is doing it with you? Just like working out, just like anything else. Hey, did you drink your pink drink today? Hey, did you take your probio five? How are you feeling? How can we feel better? It's so much more fun with friends. So encourage people to join and do it with their friends. Um, then they get their money back on their welcome pack and they're doing it with friends and they're going to be more successful because the success rate when you have accountability is so much higher. Also, I've heard so many times and I've done it myself. Oh, they don't really have money. So they're definitely going to want the $99 welcome pack. They won't want the $199. Do not make that choice for them. Let them make that choice. I've had people who I thought like had zero dollars order retail, the triplex. I'm just saying I've had multiple people who I thought probably could not afford it. They spent the money because you're going to spend money on what you prioritize. If you think that you need something, you are absolutely going to make the money for it. Same thing with time. You're going to do, um, so check out your priorities, but don't think that you know what other people's priorities are. That person might really prioritize health and wellness, and they may go without something else for a month so they can get these products, and then it may very well change their life and then they may just start a booming business. Hello, Jennifer Lee, go check out her story. They could not even afford a gallon of milk, but her health could not afford not to get these products. Her health was radically turned around and now she's a diamond in the company. I could tell that story over and over and over and over again. I could tell that story about people not having money and I could tell that story about people not having a network. Abby Kappa, if you don't know her, she's the youngest diamond in the company. She was a single mom. She probably didn't have the money. I know I, she was cleaning houses with her baby strapped to her. I doubt she had the money to start a business like this, but she also couldn't afford not to. She did not want to live the way she was living with her daughter, and she was ready to make a name for herself and for her daughter. She ended up being the fastest growing business. She went to Diamond. Now she has a podcast and she's doing great things. And she loves the Lord. She's using it all for the Lord. So I just love her. But I could go on and on and on and on. Some of you guys might say, I haven't even gone silver and I ordered my products a year ago. Don't let that discourage you either. Everybody has their own timing, but Grab a hold of what your goal is and run with it. I promise you, if you put the work in, it's going to happen. Timing is all different. Sarah Marble, I think, took like eight months or something like that to go silver. She's a diamond in the company. Everybody's timing is so different, and it probably depends on what's going on in your life, but find a goal. If you don't know what you're going for, if you don't know what you're working for, how are you going to achieve what you're working for? So make sure you know what you're working for. So let's go over the first three, three um, tiers of our network marketing company. Silver is the first. Adding three people with either $99 welcome packs or $199. Now, fast start is you have to do it within 14 days and they have to be $199 welcome packs or a $99 welcome pack and they can get 100 PV over that. Three people. So, silver, the name of the game, which I personally am a senior Ruby ambassador. Every month, I try to add at least three people. If Plexus tells me that the key to momentum is silvers, I'm going to try to go silver every month, and then I'm going to introduce those three people to going silver, okay? And then I'm going to tell them, help your people go silver. Do you see what I'm talking about? That's momentum. Plexus honors people for going wide. So it's not like Morgan got in this company first and there's never ever gonna be another diamond. You know, whoever's the diamond is just gonna be the top in the company. No, we are doing normal sales. We get rewarded for what we're doing. We get paid on our PV and we get paid for growing our business. So each month, it's a new month and you can set out to do what you um, want in your company. So the first 
rank of the company is silver? Three people. Do you know three people? Yes, I'm 100% sure that you know three people close to you. But do you have the belief to be bold enough to say, you need these products, do it with me? Get the belief in the product so you can grab those three people. My business coach says you want to get these people within 30 to 90 days so they can do it with you and you can see um, you can see the results together and hold each other accountable and it's so much more fun with friends. Hey, Sam. Second um, rank, which is so exciting that they kept this round because I don't know if you guys know, but this was like a newer rank, super silver. Lots of you guys have hit this on the team. Super Silver is 50 points, but the cool thing is those 99, um, 99 welcome backs, they still count. So you need 50 points, either people with 100 PV or people with welcome packs, okay? 10 people, 50 points. So I know at least one person who's super close and she's gonna hit it this week and I'm confident of that. So super silver, 50 points, it's 10 people in your organization with either 100 PV or welcome packs. Why am I saying 100 PV? Because when people order 100 PV, they mean that it's usually five points to you. You get paid five points for your first three levels. So that doesn't mean 10 people just on your level one, it can be 10 people in your first three levels, okay? Gold, the next step is gold. Um, gold is um, 20 people with 100 PV. So a lot of diamonds say, if you can go gold, you can go diamond because the biggest jump is from silver to gold and those $99 welcome packs no longer count. But that's okay because you're gonna have more people in your organization if you're working on silvers. Think about if you had three people and they got three people, nine, 10, 11, 12, that's already 12 people, okay? And then you just keep going, you keep getting silvers. So that's why the key to momentum is silver. So you get three people, get another three people, keep helping them get three people and you're gonna have 20 people in no time. If I've totally lost you, that's okay. I'm not gonna go in depth to the ranks but I absolutely will help you rank up. So if you've gone silver, I'm gonna help you get to super silver. If you've gone super silver, I'm gonna help you get to gold. But whatever your next rank is, maybe you're just joined and you wanna to get to silver. I want to help you get there. So feel free to open up a chat with me and we're gonna help get you there. Um, silver, three people. Super silver, 10 people. Gold is 20 people. Keep that in mind. If you don't know what you're working for, it's gonna be really hard to get there. Okay, another thing. This is really big, especially after such an awesome month last month. I want you guys to treat your business and your organization like it's a rank up month every month, okay? How many of you guys felt like, oh, I had my running shoes on last month, I was running, I was gonna hit gold, I'm, I hit gold and then this month it was like, you just like kind of come down off of all that adrenaline. I mean, I hit Senior Ruby last month and it was like, on the first, it was like, what do I do? Oh my gosh, that was like so um, exciting and it pumped me up. But it's like, no, you have to set your eyes on the next thing and treat every month like a rank up month. What does that mean? Are you gonna rank up every month? Well, you could if you wanted to because 199 welcome packs count as five points. So when you join somebody brand new, if you use those 199 welcome packs, you could rank up pretty easily. Somebody ranked up last month to Sapphire and Diamond, like she hit two um, in the same month. The potential in this company is out of this world. You just have to grab a hold of that. Our team is really good at adding people, especially during incentive months. So I want to shift our mindset just a little bit. Remember last month when I like totally got on this kick on live, I was all fired up after my run and I was like, why did people get so fired up over an iPad when they could buy an iPad with the money that they made? <laughs> 
So what I want you guys to do, if you don't already know, is I want you to dive into the comp plan a little bit. I want you to realize that when you go silver, every time you add a welcome pack, you get a $25 bonus. So if you get three people to get a $25 bonus, that's $75 for those three people. And then you get a $100 bonus for going silver. Not talking about fast start right now because the potential there is even better. I'm talking about just silver. So that's $175 that you made just going silver. If you spent a $99 welcome pack to join, you just made money already by going silver. So use the business as an incentive. You have crazy bonuses. You get commission on any of your PV with your personal products too. So set a goal. What will it take you to stay at home if that's your goal? What will it take you to give back whatever you wanna give back? What is the reason that you wanna do this business? Is it whatever it is? I don't care what it is. Is it so you can vacation more? Is it so you can get the best car you've ever wanted? Do you want the Lexus? Do you wanna go on more vacations? Do you want to give back to the community? Do you just wanna stay at home because you guys work like crazy? Do you have needs? But you have to figure out why you're doing this. Maybe you just want to have fun. And Plexus looks like a whole lot of fun. It is a whole lot of fun. Maybe you want to go to conventions and leaders retreat and take the vacations and earn the incentives. You have to know why you're doing this or you won't keep doing it. So make sure you know why you're doing it so you can wake up and put the work in and do the IPA. So like I said at the beginning, what is your IPA? Every day, I want you guys to do something for yourself, whether it be read a book, listen to a sermon, listen to a podcast. YouTube has amazing trainings. Morgan, how do you know everything that you know? I listen to YouTube trainings and then I regurgitate what I like about them. That's all I did for a long time was every single day, I listen to a YouTube training. I find the people that I like. I personally get fired up when people are like telling me what to do. Like, do this. This will grow your business. That like totally pumps me up. So find people you like. I can list off Tara Castaneda, Sarah Marble, Sarah Taylor. I um, The McCalls are so hilarious. Chris and Susie McCall. Um, I could continue on listing off amazing trainings, but if you want to listen to trainings daily and you're like, I don't really know who to listen to, message me. I got a whole list of Plexus people that I'm like, these people have really good trainings. We also post trainings all of the time. If you are not paying attention to momentum makers, make sure that you are. I know that it's getting late, so the last thing I wanna touch on is customer care. Um, and I'm just gonna give you the facts of our team and I'm watching our back office a whole lot more. Um, if you don't know how to log into your back office, I strongly encourage you to learn your back office so you can know if you're close to the goal that you want to hit. I absolutely am here to help you do that and to draw out your team and to show you how that's done. Um, but we add a whole lot of people and then we fall backwards. We add a whole lot of people and then we fall backwards. So what does that tell me? that our customer care is probably not that good. So whatever your system needs to be, whether it be the Doe app, um, whether it be pen and paper, like I just literally have lists on my desk that it's like check in with this person, whether it's an iPhone, we have alarms, we have notes in our phone, you have this with you all the time, get a system or at least do things consistently. Yes, Sam Navarro says Emily Gibson has an awesome YouTube training and it's, um, is it called follow-up? It's probably called follow-up. So type into YouTube, Emily Gibson follow-up and make sure we're following up with those people. Don't, don't beat yourself up if you get crickets. It's okay, you will. Um, but one of my favorite things is, in this company is I like when people start with people they feel comfortable with because like half the time in plexus we're talking about like poop or are you sleeping or what's your life look like and people probably won't be as open and vulnerable with people that they don't know so i love it like when somebody comes to me and i'm like does somebody really close to you does somebody really close to you share plexus with you or talk to you about plexus first okay we're gonna go to them but i'll treat you like a level one because sometimes people just see oh okay morgan posts all the time but 
um, that is another red flag. I have so many people who come to me and they're like, okay, I want Plexus now. And I'm like, oh, didn't so-and-so talk to you about it? Well, yeah, but they haven't talked to me in a while. Follow up with those people. I absolutely go back and say like, hey, so-and-so, can you give me your link? This person reached out to me and I want to make sure that I honor that, they, that you went to them first. But I also want to point out that if that person would have followed up, I never, ever, ever stop following up with someone until they tell me, no, thank you. This isn't for me. Once they do, I'll scratch off their name. But until they say that, I never scratch off their name. And crickets doesn't mean no. So crickets does not mean no. I continue to follow up. And then um, I build relationship from there. Because I'm not going to just say like, hey, do you want Plexus? Okay, how about now? Do you want Plexus now? Do you want Plexus now? No. I'm going to keep building a relationship, maintaining the relationship. And maybe they never will order Plexus, but they're still close to me. They're still my friend. And they're, I'm still in their life for a reason. So going back to checking your heart and making sure when you're doing your IPA, you're doing it for the right reasons. You have their best interest in mind. Uh, maybe they can't do Welcome Pack, but maybe they can do Slim or start on the ProBio 5. That's okay. That will build your PV and you don't have to have all your customers be wholesalers. You want your PV to get higher and then you get paid commission on your PV. Um, so I want to open it up. If anybody has any questions, feel free to pop those in the chat. Um, I'm definitely going to close this um, recording here soon so it doesn't get too late. But um, my coach's name is Dylan, and he basically said, this business is all about relationship and building relationships strong. So if you don't feel like you're very good at relationships or you don't have a whole lot of close friends and family members and things like that, that might be a good indicator that we need to focus on how to build relationships well, the right way, the God way, um, making sure that we're putting those people's interests first, loving people well, meeting them where they're at and helping them where they are. Everybody can listen. So if I go and talk to Sam and Sam says, oh, I just like have headaches all the time and I don't feel very good. I'm tired. Like she's giving me all these cues that she has like a gut health issue. A lot of times we have to get to know someone before we can realize what aspect of plexus we can share with them. Sometimes it's like, man, I hate my job. It's like, I have to leave my kid every day and this is just not what I wanna do. Okay, well, we have the best company on the planet with the best comp plan. So we wanna go that route. Or do you guys see where I'm going with this? If you don't know the person and you haven't really taken time to look over their Facebook or to get to know them, then they might just feel like the next person on your list that you want to make a sale to make sure they feel like you care. Make sure that you really do care because they'll be able to tell whether you care or not. Um, and make sure that you're in this business to help people grow and thrive and um, really succeed. So I think that's all I have for tonight. If anybody has any questions, go ahead and throw them out. Um, I would love to just kind of hear, whether it's here or in our chat, what you guys need more. What kind of trainings do you need? What do you need from me? Um, what do you need from Krista? Also, my thought is the MJ team, I could not figure out how to cancel. Some of you guys are like, what's the MJ team? But I'm thinking about turning that into a Silver Stars page. What does that look like? We have the opportunity as a team to basically spearhead something that looks like a silver page. My vision originally is us getting on there, popping on, sharing our silver story, maybe plugging in um, Emily Gibson and Brooke Hemingway have a five-step YouTube series on how to go silver. There are lots of YouTube um, series on how to go silver. So it looks like circulating things like that, creating things of our own, throwing up posts of why it's important to go silver. And then every new person, and we'll probably open it up to Team Revive, but our team will spearhead the page. Um, every new person can get added to that. Old people too, if they haven't gone silver. So anybody who hasn't gone silver and wants to go silver can be added on this page. Then once they have gone silver, if they're like, eh, I don't really wanna be on that page anymore, they can get off of the page. Um, 
And why not try it? If momentum is built in silvers, let's do it. Let's focus on silvers. I think the two things our um, team needs to focus on is customer care and silvers. We're awesome at adding people. We're awesome at posting, the relationship, and all of that good stuff. So let's further that on in our customer care and building silvers. And I think that our team will just explode. It's already exploding with enrollments. Now we just have to keep that momentum going. I think next month is going to be a really big month for a lot of us. I still think this week is going to be a really big week. Um, I still think we're going to see some Apple Watch earners. I think we might see a couple of golds. We might see a couple of super silvers. And I'm just pumped up about that. I get more pumped up about seeing you guys reach your goals than I do with my own. Um, it's just a huge part of why I'm even, even on this journey is for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the recording, but I'll hang out here for a minute. If anybody has any questions, thank you so much for joining me. I get that it was last minute Saturday night. Thank you for bearing with Hattie too. And before daddy got home, <laughs> that was awesome too. But I love y'all and I'm going to turn off the recording, but I'll stay. Hopefully I know how to turn off the recording. Stop recording. That's